Guys, Jed Walters here. Welcome to my uh, teaching studio down here at TrueFit Golf Centre in Warrington. Today's topic I want to talk about has come from a question um, from Facebook from Tom, who wants to know if he, in particular, is getting himself in the right distance away from the golf ball in the setup position. So it's something that I'm going to talk about. We're going to look at a few different clubs as well, from short irons, mid irons, and uh, the driver as well. So let's take a look. Right guys, so talking about being that right distance away, as I said earlier, I've got three clubs. So I've got driver, I've got six iron, and I've got my gap wedge as well. So we're gonna start at the shortest club in the bag. You just lay driver down and six iron there. So the distance that we want to be is relative to end of the club rather than being relative to the golf ball because we're always going to be further away from the golf ball the longer the shaft gets. So the important bit to make sure we realise is that we want to feel when we take our setup position, okay, we want to be thinking about balls of your feet in there, knees. And then, so as you come through here, the sort of bottom or the back of the, the armpit here where the club head is. So a line moving down there through into the balls of the feet is our balance point. So that's the body nice and balanced. So we're not too tall, we're not too bent forward where we can lose balance through the swing. And then from that point of view there, being in that nice balanced position, arms just want to really hang, you know, your hands are going to be a little bit forward of the shoulder line, just like they would be if you were stood up really tall, which I'll show you in a second. So from here, if I was to let go with my trail hand, just let it hang, if I was to then push it back in place, it is pretty much in the same spot that it started. Again, I could do the same thing with my left hand, put it back in there. If I was too close to the end of the club, so my arms weren't hanging in the same position, and they had this sort of inward hang, as I did that, notice how my arm moves forward. Then when I put it on, I've got some separation in there. If I use this hand, it drops forward and it sits onto the trail hand. The opposite then would be if I was stretched too much and my arms were far too extended, you know, as I let go and just let that arm hang, you see it drops into there with the left hand and here I would miss the handle. So we want to make sure that our arms, you know, if I was just to stand up tall here, you can see how my hands, sort of the arm doesn't hang perfectly straight, the elbow it moves slightly forward. So my hands are, and my forearms are slightly forward of this point as it comes down here. That's how we really want to be. As the club gets that little bit longer, we're going to be this space a little further away. But again, if I get into my position here now, I would say, right, okay, well, where am I? This is my reference, this is my checkpoint. Go there, that feels a little bit closer. Okay, so if I was to now get in position here, let the arm hang again, put it back in place. Okay, I've adjusted a little bit too much. You can see there the hands have sort of gone back in there. So it's making sure that we're in and around that position. You can use this reference point, arm hanging, just let it go, put it back in. You know, you can use both hands if you want, just let them hang nicely, put them back into position there. And you've got that position with a forearm and the hands are a fraction forward of the shoulders. This space is all here now for you to be able to turn and rotate. And again, making sure we've got that feeling of balance all the way through. When it comes then to driver, you know, much further away from the golf ball, I broke my tee, which is why it's not there. So if I'm in position here now, we can see this space again is back to that big space. But because I'm in my position here now, so if we'll just check in here. So I've got my balance points in place there. If I was just to relax the arm, let it hang, put it back in place, back in the same spot. Relax the arm, let it hang back in place and there it is so I can take my grip as I go through. Again, hands are forward at the shoulders. The angle of shaft 
with the driver. As it gets longer and your fairway wood will be the same thing there. It looks like my arms are further forward. It looks like they're angled more this way. But as we can see from how I hang the arms and in position there, the hanging position, how it naturally falls back into place is exactly the same. It's a great reference point, I find, to make sure that you're in the same position right the way throughout, which then will more importantly give you the ability to find the centre of the club face more often. You know, if you're too far away, if you're too close, then, you know, to get the club back onto the golf ball and try and find this spot becomes more difficult because then we've got to make some compensations and moving the club about so we'll find some off centre hits as we go through. So, really good reference point, something I think you should guys try. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. Post your comments in the box below. Love to hear your thoughts on the setup and also on um, the right distance away, how it affects your shots. You know, if you're struggling from sort of toe side or heel side impacts, it could be an issue that you have overlooked maybe. So post comments in the box below. Love to hear your thoughts. As always, thanks for watching. Give the video the thumbs up. If you're liking the video, click that little thumb there. It lets me know you're enjoying the content. It also lets YouTube know as well. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, the question is why you haven't clicked the little logo in the screen there. So if you haven't subscribed, please click the logo there. Subscribe to the channel. Lots of free content already on there and loads more to come as well through 2018. You can follow me on social networks. Links are in the description below the video. I look forward to seeing you guys again next time. Thanks for watching.